video uh, I'm going to show you how to not allow users to um, submit a form if a required field is not filled in for example um, enter name here let's say that that had a little asterisk and said required um, you shouldn't be able to hit next to go here and you certainly shouldn't be able to hit done and submit the form uh, so let me show you a quick and easy way to um, deal with this situation. So if this was our, then maybe we can put uh, required in here so that um, users can see that, that that's in there. Uh, but we're going to use um, the, we're going to kind of tie it together with the um, focus state so we know where we are right here. And um, we're going to go ahead and uh, create an if statement here. We're going to say if uh, name, that's the name of this field actually, is empty. So uh, that means that nothing has been, hasn't been filled out. Um, then we're going to kind of do something. And what we'll do is we'll, we'll have an alert pop up. And if you remember, this um, controlled the alert uh, for the submitting of the form. So I'm just going to create a, another one of these and I'll just call it showing alert two type bool equal to false to start out with okay so we have that and so if it's empty then showing alert two should become true and trigger our alert um, I just so happen to have that alert saved here and I'm going to put it right after our on submit right here and so what's happening here is it's going to say yep if showing alert 2 is true then it's going to activate this alert and it's going to tell us that there's a required field here and that you must um, enter a name um, and then let's make this an else so that it doesn't it won't go to the determined field function Remember the determined field function um, is what navigates us to the to the next field, right? That would take us to the email text. So let let's see. This should work okay. Um, there we go. We are in here. We're just not going to enter anything and hit next, and that's great. That let us know that hey, we can't do that, and you must enter our name. We'll say okay. Come back in here and enter our name, and now we're good. Right, and so you would want to add a similar type of, um, you would want to add this if statement, obviously, for each field that was required, you know, obviously using email instead of name, or whatever the name of that text field is. And you would want to have a particular, um, an alert tailored towards it. You know, you would say, change that to the name of the field. Um, and you may want to have its own Boolean associated with it as well. Um, yeah, that, that's it. Let me know if that makes sense. If you have any questions, um, feel free to leave them in the comments.